Well, hey, we're down at Timeless Art Free Finishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. You can check out our beautiful website at www.timelessartgr.com. And if you have any questions about anything, uh, even if you try to do a piece on your own and you want a little uh, advice, feel free to give me a call. But right now we're talking about repairing this piano bench. And... Uh, I'm going to show you an example of what not to do, and that would be this. I just spent maybe an hour pulling all these screws and all these little... L brackets? Yeah, little corner brackets, these little L corner brackets here that are made of metal. They were all screwed in here. There were screws screwed in through here and screws going through the legs. Somebody put an awful lot of effort in gluing this bench, or trying to put this bench together and hold it together with a bunch of screws. But the problem with that is that all it does is break up the wood. Every time you run a screw hole through a piece of wood, it just deteriorates it. And um, so now we got now that I got all the screws out of there and brackets, um, I got these little joints right here. I'm going to actually start putting some uh, glue in there. You want to come on over here, honey? And maybe if you want. Can you get a nice view on that? Mm-hmm. Oops. Mm-hmm. A lot of screws in there. Mm-hmm. It actually done more damage than it would have done any type of good. So I just basically took that apart. Nails here, nails there. It makes it really hard when you're trying to fix this and you're having to pull nails out of stuff where they shouldn't really be. There we go. Just let that tip a little bit. Got my trusty glue and, and I just going to put it on nice and heavy. That's one of my problems. I like to put my glue real sloppy, but I have to clean it up. That was broke right in half. Touch.
Hmm. Yes, I'm having fun with this. <laughs> Half the battle is my table. I don't have it on a nice flush table, that's my problem here. Because we don't have enough space around our shop. The shop is full of furniture. So we have to make do with... That kind of sets that up for a second. Maybe I should just... Shed over like that. Can you see okay, honey? Mm -hmm. my clothes always dirty because I'm always crawling around on the ground. There. Now, if the guy that was repairing that thing with all the screws would have done this in the first place, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have all the screws in there. Oops. What am I doing here? That's going to be way better. Yeah. There. You'll get it looking good. Yeah, see already it's more stable than it ever was. And mm -hmm. the glue's not even dry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just going to take care of this little area over here with another clamp. Basically, yeah, that's really stabilized it already, and that glue's not even dry. Of course, I'll come back here. We won't be filming it, but I'll take a wet rag with some water and just wash this glue off the best I possibly can.
can never have enough clamps in a wood shop, you know what? Yeah. There's that. It's already a lot better, see it? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> A lot of clamps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was it's already better than what it ever was, so. Mm-hmm. Okay, well there so, you go. That's <laughs> it. Now I'm just going to clean that glue up with a little bit of uh, rags and some water, but we don't need to watch that. We'll okay. save the video for something more interesting. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.